So now the tide has changed because now people are realizing that the true animals and the true monsters are the people in the West. This is exactly what we've been telling you on RBN. So another tweet that I had went pretty viral that had a lot of people pissed off. Because I had to comment on this. This shit right here that scares you people for some reason. My mind is decolonized. I am not a bootlicker to the government. And I find the majority of people in this population are. They don't even know it yet. This is the, the pushback that white America gives us all the time. Man, don't you see those Muslims? Don't the goddamn Muslims, these goddamn terrorist sympathizers, don't you know they're chanting death to America? <laughs> This shit right here actually infuriates the shit out of white America. This infuriates people more than anything else. Look at the headline here. National Review, right-wing headline. You had Death to America that was trending on Twitter next. <laughs> it was trending because it was a ton of white people that was like, oh my God, look at these pro-Palestinian protesters calling for the death of America. <laughs> so white people get more upset at Muslims for chanting death to America than they do their own country that actually bombs and kill Muslims. I want you guys to sit with that for a second. Because, you know, this is the kind of stuff they used to justify bombing innocent Muslims during the war on terror. Hey, do you see this footage over there? There are Muslims over there talking about death to America. Let's kill everyone in the village over there. <laughs> so apparently, chanting is where they draw the line. Not bombing hospitals. Not sniping children. Not creating death zones in Gaza where anyone who goes in the death zone, women, children, no matter who it is, that doesn't bother them at all. But chanting stuff is what does it. So I am the discourse creator. I am the chaos agent. They only have one purpose, and that is to shift over to window to the left and decolonize your mind, whether you like it or not. A lot of people block me on Twitter. A lot of people unsubscribe when they hear our criticisms of the United States. The criticism of what a Western chauvinist ideology. This is another discourse starter here. I said white, like I just said, white people get more upset at Muslims. Chanting death to America than their own country that actually blows up Muslim children. According to America, actually blowing up kids is okay, but chanting about something is where we draw the line. That is a trash culture. And boy, you guys can see with a thousand, even though I had 10,000 likes, you guys know I'm putting bangers after bangers after bangers out here. But despite 10,000 likes, there are 1,000 comments. That is what some people will cause some sort of a, a mini ratio when you got 1,000 comments. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of people laughing at, agreeing with us. This is our brother Rome laughing. This is our, our, this is our friend Middle Mag. We like, I like him, even though he's he's on the right. He disagreed with us. We had good dialogue over our disagreements. Well, I res this is a respectful disagreement. He says, I agree with them on some stuff, but if you think you're going to rally support in America by yelling death to America, you need help with marketing. Once again, this is the general tone police and stuff that I don't like. Once again, I don't have any problem with them because we can have respectful dialogue. My response was, how can you say they need help with marketing when they're already winning the PR war despite billions of Israeli propaganda? People need to understand the era where people tone police activists is dead. It's dead. Like, you're not allowed to say we're making you uncomfortable when you're bombing children. You guys realize that is something you're no longer allowed to say. You guys realize I have been doing nothing but making people uncomfortable recently. Because that is what our society needs. We live in a, in a country, in a society that is going, undergoing a deep genocidal psychosis. People just okay with it. Anyway, I think it was funny. Uh, 
I'm gonna cover this Nick Rogers tweet. Because I'm going to continue to probably People will legitimately get more upset at this than they do their government supporting and denying genocide. Because speaking of genocide, we're going to cover the uh, ICJ trial. That And I think it's not getting enough cover, cover. Nicaragua is suing Germany for genocide. In this case... This case is huge. <laughs> and I, I feel like a lot of people need to understand. The first case was very big, but Nick Wagwa is suing Germany for enabling genocide. Let me see if I can get actually let me see if I can pull another headline here. And I'll show you, I'm gonna show you guys the arguments that they was making. They had 